do that. Right. You know, and here we are in a time where being obese is a problem and it's the first time in history. It's being glorified, man. You got a body positivity. You got you got to love yourself. Touch that, but JB. But it's the JB, first time in you need history. To eat, you need to eat more and love your body. I'm Just be you, baby. Very, I'm happy with where I'm at. <laughs> I'm always working on it, but but it's the first time in history where obesity is a problem, where we have too much food, and this is laughable to to 300 to 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 19 you know 20s Oklahoma in the Dust Bowl. Right. This is uh, maybe it was 30s because one was a. Uh, uh, Grapes of Wrath was probably in the yeah, 30s. 30s, 30s. So, yeah, yeah. during so, the Depression. Yeah, yeah but that was the Depression, yeah. yeah, after Prohibition. Yeah. Like, this is laughable. People dying of starvation. Yeah. And that same region now probably has a pretty high uh, obesity level. Yeah. And it's laughable. It's like, really? Now, who's to blame? Professionals? The government? No, it's the person, right? It's you're right. The you're right. Person. You're right. We I, have I just, so I just much. talked ten minutes ago about personal responsibility. Right. So and I, I want to totally I I reflect that. back on the amount of educational tools that we have, the amount of yeah. information that's out there. Dude, YouTube's and, awesome. And let's go. Hey, YouTube's crazy, right? And and Wikipedia is crazy. And let's talk about. You know, I know people say our education system is not good, but I really love these teachers that go out there and they're doing their best to teach these knuckleheads how to read and write. And at some point, no matter where you come from, whether it's a good house or a crappy house or a single dad, mom house, or two, you have to take responsibility for yourself, right? right? I know that might be easy for me to say. I had wonderful parents. You know, I didn't grow up a rich kid, but, you know, we didn't have a, a ton when I was a kid, but, you know, I had really good parents, really, really invested parents. And I really appreciate But I think that. if the, if the men, if the, country's psyche the, the mental mentality of, of social um of like social media out there if, if that was the the message take responsibility for yourself and people understood that message then regardless of whether or not they had shitty parents they could like say okay society is telling me that i can go out there but now it's different right society's telling people that you're a victim regardless and i'm not saying okay in certain know. in certain respects people are victims right but i don't know you don't know I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it's telling people. I, I don't know. Well, there's a problem. I have a there's hard a pro- time there's a problem going on right now with what's going on in America as far as I have a hard kids time killing relating. themselves. I mean, yeah, the suicide rate, sh- anxiety rates. Dude, okay. People, people want to. I'll just take mass shootings as an example. But like, you grew up around guns. You were around it since you were a little kid. Like, Small how, how many Texas. mass shootings were there in the '70s that we know of? Like, there were. No- I grew up in a town. I didn't. I didn't know anybody that didn't have a gun. I was in a small town. You had a truck on the, small back, town, on the back of your pickup yeah, truck. You had a yeah, rack on the I, truck. Yeah, you had a gun in the back. And and it was a small town, middle of nowhere, Texas. And, you know, we didn't have mass shootings. We didn't have murders. Like, it would be highly, I mean, everyone in that town had a gun. And at you least weren't, one. You weren't affluent or rich or no, wealthy. It so, wasn't. So, 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 so it's not an issue of, wealth per se like it's no. not no what it's a cultural issue it's it's how it's you're, it's when you're told that either you have or it's a family issue you have shitty parents or you have parents that aren't there i mean i'm sure there are plenty of bad parents in that town i don't know i you know it's, it's but there uh, not enough to necessitate mass shootings all across the country like there are now like yeah, what why do you think I, it's happening right now like what's i i, I, what's I think the, there are a lot of factors what do you think they are Give me a few. I mean, we, we just talked about the no, no dads in the house, right? That's one for I sure. Think, I think if you researched mass shootings, that would be a real common denominator. Right. Like no, no father. I figure, think if no. you researched antipsychotic drugs, that would be a real common denominator. Uh, so and that could, well, I think every one of the people that we see that are committing mass shootings are, I mean, Men- I would challenge you to, ch- I would challenge you to show me one that's not on some medication some antipsychotic or antidepressive. I don't know because I haven't researched it, but I challenge you to show me one. Yeah, but I mean, do you think, so do you- Chicken so, or the egg? I don't know. No, so I'm saying there are more mentally ill people today than they were back than they were back then because back then they didn't have no, all the same medicines no, that they did. Yeah, I, for believe, all- I believe that humans are humans and that we've been humans for millennia. Well, so it's, if it's not mental illness, then like everybody, everybody says it's mental illness. 
or today. Like the big thing is like, if it's not like people have to take responsibility, it's men- a big part of it is mental illness. If there was just as much mental illness back then, then why weren't there school? Why weren't there shootings all around? Like it's, you know, well, it's cultural for sure. A part of it's going to be cultural. And I mean, again, you know, I mean, there were Genghis Khans back then too, that roamed across the landscape and killed village after village no, I'm ta- after village. I'm talking like I'm talking when you were a kid. When I was a kid in the 1970s, right? I mean, I mean, yeah, like they, it was a different time, you right? Know? So what, I mean, what, what, what? Why weren't there mass shootings? What was what? What are the what are the facts? I didn't. Were? I didn't. Like I because it's crazy when you think about like what is it that's changed? Well, it's not semi-automatic weapons. Um, no, it's not. They were <laughs> they, they were I, they were around back then. What, what, like, I, I don't know. I, I, I just wish. I hate it. I'll tell you, I hate it. I hate, I have two kids in school. I hate thinking about, I hate thinking about mass shootings. It, it's just perverse to me. And I think about it a lot. Because I drop my kids off at school and I go, God, you know, please, like, don't let some knucklehead do something crazy, right? I mean, you know, the, these neighborhoods that are, just like mine that have a, a level of, you know, I mean, I, I live in a nice area, you know, yeah. um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I would say that fathers yeah. are a common denominator and I would challenge you to, sh- to show me different. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that I can that's think a, of. And, and sometimes I, I question the amount of antipsychotics and antidepressants that, that the kids are on. What about social media? Which is comes back to parenting, I think, is what you, you know, if you... My kids don't have social media. They're 13 and 10. Right. Again, dads are right there, you know? I mean, sometimes moms can be permissive. I came home and my kid had a Instagram account and I was like, dude, yeah. delete that off your phone. He's like, yeah, but mom, I'm like, dude, delete it off your phone. A seventh grader doesn't need one. I firmly believe that. I challenge you to change my mind. Where do you challenge you to change you my mind? Where do you tiptoe the line between like them, like going okay, and then they go behind your back and they do that shit? And they then- can't because I pay for the phone. The phone is in my name. My child has no money, and I have an app on his phone that monitors his applications. Right, he's not allowed to have it. Or I'm saying generally, like you know, where like lenience with your kids, like how, where do you? Because you also want to be like, you know, you want to be the cool dad or the cool parent. I don't want to be the cool dad. No, yeah, because then there's no I law. Don't. Yeah, uh, my kids. I'm, I'm like, I'm probably, I don't know. My dad was pretty cool, man. I mean, yeah, did I get a whooping every now and then? I did. Do I get my kids whoopings? No, but my dad was pretty cool. My, I think my mom was rougher than my dad. She's, she's awesome, by yeah. the way. I love my mom. Um, okay, uh, but. I've got no, I don't want to be the cool dad. My kids, you know what? We're going to stay busy. We're going to stay broke, right? Um, you're not going to have applications on your phone. Oh, but dad, it's my phone. No, it's not your phone. I bought the phone. It's my phone. You have the privilege to use that phone. It's a privilege. You know, I inalienable rights, you don't have too many before they turn 18 because you're not paying for anything. Yeah. You're not paying rent. If you want to get out there and get after it, no, you still can't even do that because I'm going to force you to stand on my I roof. think those boundaries are good for kids, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like, you're not going to download apps I don't want you to have. I don't care if everybody's got Instagram. You're not going to have it. I don't care if anybody's got... Uh, TikTok. TikTok. There's another one out there that these kids are on these days. Really? I just heard about it today. Yeah, it's another form of social media. It's some sort of discourse or something. It's discourse or something like Discord. that. Discord. 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 Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, Discord. Yeah. yeah. I think so. So yeah. So like they, they I'm like, no, you don't get to have it. And I'm gonna monitor their phones. They don't get to have it. Why? You see your friends at school, you come home, you do your homework, we're gonna go and we're gonna go play ball. You see your friends there. You don't need they don't they don't you don't need to have time to be on social media. After your, you know, whatever, if you're paying for your own phone. Knock yourself out. And I guess when they turn 18 and the knuckleheads are in college and I'll still probably be paying for the daggone phone, I'll care less, right? But these formative years and adolescence, I'm all over it. Yeah, You don't get to have it. And you know what? I mean, I'm pretty involved compared to like a lot of parents and, and maybe even on and, and some level my, my parents were, I don't know. I mean, they're pretty involved. But you just don't get to have it. Yeah. Right. I mean, they get a lot of freedom. They get to ride around their little, 
you know, $300 scooters and their $1,800 bikes and they would their $300 fishing poles and go from pond to pond at, you know, at the, at the golf course community that we live in and go catch bass out of the ponds while the guys are playing golf out there and they get kicked off of pond to pond. And I don't care. If that's they're the 10. worst. If that's I'm the like, worst. Kick them off. Right. Yeah. And then they're like, dad, I got kicked off. I'll go back to the next day. What's the guy going to do? You're 10. Right. I mean, come on. You're, you're 12. You're 13, whatever. You know, uh, what, what, what's the worst thing you're doing? Fishing. Is that the worst thing you're doing? Please oh, yeah. go back and fish tomorrow. Are they going to bring you to my, to the back to the house in cuffs? No, they're not. No one's going to arrest you for going fishing at the, at the pond at the golf course. So, you know, yeah. this is the, this is the stuff that my boys are doing. And I mean, you know, I, I'm not that restrictive. I'm really not. But when it comes to like uh, applications, I'm very selective because I think those are detrimental. Yeah, for Back sure. to like the no, mental health issue. Yeah. I that, don't want them to have this. I agree. I think that, that ties to it. And, so, and, and here I am trying to like mitigate that. So you know? it's like parents, parent, and that comes down to the parents being there, like the parent, the dad, the, the, or the mother, there, there being two parents in the house. Mom There's, let them have it. Right. Right. They're like, right. oh, well, what could be, oh, what's the harm? No, he's not having yeah, it. Yeah. Well, it's good to have the, it's good to have that yeah. struggle between the parents because some, one, one might be more lenient in some facets and yeah. one might not be. So it's and good it could to be have the that. mom and yeah, not the dad. Exactly. I'm, I'm not even yeah, yeah, saying yeah. it's just always the dad, but right. you know, two people raising children yeah. is better than one. It takes a village, right? Because brother, like when you're trying to raise kids, it is insane as you well know. Yeah. So two people raising a child is better than one. You sure. need that. Right. Right. You need two perspectives. You know, you, you need that. Uh, the narrative of like, uh, of the, the, the guns being the problem when we know it's not the problem. Like, why is that never like, go? Why, why can't people just look back and do exactly what I just said? It's like, go back to the set, look back to the seventies, look back to the eighties when this didn't happen. And people like, pe it's not like there were more guns. Like maybe there were a little bit more guns, but like people everybody are not very introspective. So like, they don't want to look at themselves, right? They don't want to look at themselves and say, could I be possibly be the problem here? Right. People are not introspective. And if people were more introspective and look, you can never have control of your life or perceive control of your life if you don't own your life. Yeah. If I don't say, my marriage is falling apart. Because why? Well, my, my wife is a terrible person, right? Or, She's a terrible person. But I cheated on her. <laughs> right? And yeah. so I cheated on her. Or, or my wife is a terrible person. She cheated on me. Yeah. Right? Well, well why'd that happen? Yeah. You know, like if you don't take some ownership. Well, that's the victim your, mentality, right? Yeah. Right. If you don't take some ownership of what's happening in your life and say, all right, this happened, right? Now, some of that could have been her fault, but I think some of that could have been my fault. So how am I going to own this? If you don't take some ownership of what's happening in your life and you don't like take some of that internally, you can't change it. You can't affect it. If it's always somebody else's fault, then you have no, uh, you have no say or influence in your own life. Right. You know? Yeah. So if it's always somebody else's fault, how can you take control of your own life? You have to say, okay, I have a party in this, whatever the situation is, I have a party in this. Some of this is my fault. And for me to affect my own life, I have to own that. Right. And then that's so positive and it's so empowering because you can change that. Right. But if it's always somebody else's fault, right. well, you never have to do anything. Right. Exactly. And then once you get to the point to where you're like, okay, now all I have to do is do the things that I, that I, the things that I have to do or the feel the things that I need to do to control whatever situation or whatever outcome. And once you give it your best, but assume responsibility and give it all, that's, that's it. Then, then all you can you, say, you, you did all you, you could do. You man. tried and then you can wash your hands clean. This is one of the lessons I tell my, my baseball players. I say, look, coach is never going to get mad at you for missing a ground ball. Coach is never going to get mad at you for striking out. Coach is never going to get mad at you for throwing making a bad throw. But if you're not paying attention, I'm going to get after you. If you're goofing off, I'm going to get after you. If you don't know what the situation is, you don't know how many runners are on base and you don't know how many outs there are and you make an error throwing to the wrong base because you didn't know how many outs there were, I'm going to get after you. I'm going to be like, hey, man, 
you know, there were, there were two outs. There was a runner on first. You were a foot from the bag from second. You could have stepped on second and gotten an out. What happened there? Like, that's your fault. Like you could have owned that. Yeah. And it's not bad to tell kids that because no, it teaches that's them. what they can control. Right. Right. So I tell that's, that's our mantra. You know, our mantra, we, we, we do this thing, right. You know, we call it out, you know, we go, we go maximum effort. effort. I say maximum effort. That's from Deadpool. And I say winning attitude. And they say attitude, right. I say winning, they say attitude. And then, you know, we, we count it out, but it's like, and then I always say control what you can. And they all say control. And I go, right. Because if you know your situation, if you know where you're at on the field, right. If you're paying attention. Yeah. Okay. These are the things you can control. So in your life, if you, you were, control you everything were. that you can control, yeah, right, and you were on it, and it doesn't work out, ah, yeah, doesn't work out. And, and you know what? And if if it doesn't work out because you didn't control everything that you could because you weren't paying attention, then it's a learning experience. So long as you're there to learn from it, right? You use it as an experience, 100%. not not as a way of like saying, oh. You know, you have to be introspective. You have to look back and say, you, you know, I fucked up here. No winner that I ever knew blamed their problems on other people. Yeah. I was just Winners a- do not do that. Winners yeah. in life don't say it's their fault. I'm not where I want to be. They say it's my fault. How do I get there? Yeah. And then there's a solution that's presented yeah. and you can get there. You know, 